MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. For all you budding motorsport fans, you've got to carry on watching this video. You'll know X Track and you'll know Matsura. The two of those have come together here at X Track's head office in Thatcham. Matsura have supplied two new machine tools of late. I'm going to go and meet with Martin and he's going to tell us why the business opted for those machines. So Martin, we're in the machine shop here. This machine behind us is obviously one of the most recent purchases, which is the 100H. It's a pretty sizable machine. What are you actually doing on it? It's a, mainly for castings. Uh, it gives us a large, case to, large casting capability. Um, it's flexible. Uh, we've got multi-pallet operations on there. So this is actually a two-pallet machine, but inside the machining area is five-axis machining capability, is that correct? Yeah, it's got a full five-axis capability, uh, which gives us great flexibility and enables us to uh, reduce the number of setups uh, when we're machining in really complex castings. So. And is that behind the decision, or one of the decisions, to buy the machine? Because previously you were having to do multiple operations on one machine or multiple setups. Yeah, flexibility was certainly one of the key considerations, as well as um, speed and, and changeover options. As we were, you know. so so now you can do five-face machining. You can machine the part essentially in one hit. But you're not doing volume here, are you? You're not doing thousands of castings at once. No, we're certainly not a high-volume operation. Uh, probably the maximum size of our batches going through here will be, you know, in a region of 20. Uh, but we can start as low as two or three um, if we're in a prototype phase of a project. And with the type of uh, component or casting you've got there, you can, you can need a lot of tools. Have you got a lot of tools on this machine? Yeah, this one can take 240. So um, our last major casting that we did, uh, we used 241 tools, but that was largely because we were compromised um, on setup. So now with 240 tools in one machine, uh, it's going to help uh, greatly with the setup reduction. So it's bigger castings that you're machining on the H100, but I notice this fixture plate here. What, what, what's that for then? Smaller ones? Yeah, if we're not running a large casting, it does give us the opportunity to run a number of smaller castings on, on the fixture so that we can keep the machine uh, running and, and give us a, a much different, uh, more flexible capability where smaller castings are concerned. So when it comes to fixturing, you'll, you'll make your own fixtures for some parts, but you'll use things like the, the VB dock lock for more modular stuff. Yeah, we, we do make a lot of our own, but um, for something like this, we would buy a, a purpose-built, a purpose-made um, set of fixturing from a, a known supplier. So. And on this machine here, obviously Matsura is the, the machine that you chose. Why was that? Uh, well, looking around, you can see that we have a number of the uh, Matsura machines anyway, uh, but the support and service we get from Matsura is great. You know, they're, they're on site if we have a problem. They're always on the end of the phone to help if, if it's something simple. And did sort of precision, accuracy, repeatability, speed come into it too? Oh, every single one of those. I mean, they were, they were a given basically. Um, so quality, reliability, yeah, performance. We need our machines to work all the time. So. And it wasn't just one machine that you bought recently, which we've just spoke about. There was another one. So let's go and have a look at that. Okay. Yeah, we bought a 35V, a vertical machine at the same time with a 32 pallet uh, changing system on it. So. Okay. Let's go and have a look. So this is the 35V uh, MAM Matsura machine, slightly different in terms of its build and its configuration to the H100. Why this machine? Okay, so we can use this for um, internal components for the gearbox, for the differential. It um, will take bigger batches, um, so I say bigger batches, but sort of half a dozen to a dozen parts. But it also has um, a higher spindle speed, it's got greater flexibility, and we've got a 32 uh, pallet loading system on it so that we can uh, load a job and forget it. Because what I didn't mention is this is actually this is a five-axis machine in centre and when you talk about pallets 
you, you can literally have an operator press the button and produce 32 parts all the same without any intervention. Ideally that would be um, great, um, that doesn't always happen of course, um, but um, the intention is, is that we can you know, set up a machine once and, and leave it running. Um, so there's a very definitive line between the H100, that's for your castings, your casings, for the, for the transmissions or the gearboxes, and here you've got more of the internal parts. Yeah, that's correct, yeah, so the 100H gives us a great flexibility in terms of castings and all the internals that we can, we can manufacture on here. So. And would it be fair to say in the decision making process, the, uh, the, the things that you touched on before about the H100, what you liked about Matsura, are the same with this? Of course, yeah, it's the uh, same level of service and same level of support. It's absolutely paramount uh, in the type of operation that we're trying to run here. Changing tactic a bit here, X-Track, why do people opt for your transmission technology here, Martin? Well, it's, it's all about uh, quality, performance and reliability. And we always say if you want to win a race, then you should have an extract gearbox in your car. And big, bold statement, but what's behind that? You know, what, what makes them or what gives you that advantage? Well, we have our own in-house design team. Uh, production engineering is based uh, in amongst with the design engineers. So everything they're designing, they're designing for manufacture. And then we have the great flexibility with the machine shop uh, being able to interpret the design and convert that into a, a high quality gearbox. Um, we hand build everything on site and we also test everything before it leaves the building. So a um, you know, customer receives a gearbox, he knows he has the confidence to throw it straight into a car and, and it's going to run and they've they got potential to win the race with it. And there's me thinking you were going to say it's all down to Matsura. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time today, Martin. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Paul. Cheers. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.